Well, check it out, folks. We just pulled into this waterfront site. New York State Park, Lincoln Pond. My parents used to live right across the way from here. And as soon as we pulled in, it started raining. So we will be making the best of it. Got to put the slide out. Brought a couple of inner tubes. So I'm inside. Getting ready to make some dinner using some Lego Alfredo sauce, some egg noodles, and I've got some chicken sausage. So everything's getting ready in there. Turby's in here supervising. Right, Turbo? Hey, buddy. But I want to show you outside. So there's Dixie. She's eating. This last step is a huge step. we got to get a stair for there. Look at, the, look at the step. Huge. All right, so we got the scooter. Got it parked under the tree, so it's out of the rain a little bit. Doug did a great job getting that fire going. Mm. Dixie do stop. No barking. Dixie is eating her dinner that she spilled. Yep, she spilled it, right? And there's WD making the best of the situation. Swimming in the rain. <laughs> you have clothes on, right? No! Not right now. Cooking. <laughs> Dixie wants to go, though. Don't you, Dixie? You want to go? <laughs> yep. So the rain doesn't stop us, folks. That kind of makes it more interesting. All right. Say bye, Dixie. Bye, Dixie. Bye, Dixie. Look oh, yeah, how pretty it is here this morning, our campsite. This is Lincoln Pond in New York. It's five miles from our house, probably. I've always thought that's one of the prettiest spots around here, that point right there. My aunt and uncle used to own the camp over there. It sits up on the hill. That's where we were swimming last night. Nice white perch trees. We always like this spot. This is the boat launch right here for the campground. New York State Campground Lincoln Pond. There's the camper all leveled, <laughs> made for a high step. We're gonna have to bring something with us for when that happens. Quite a climb up in there. The only problem we're having with bugs here is biting flies. And they'll drive you about crazy. So this is the closest one to the road. Um, not a lot of traffic at night. You don't really have to worry about that. You can get some traffic during the day. <clears throat> there's a causeway right there that there's two different sides of this they call it a pond it's pretty big it's man-made there's a dam on the other end and look how calm it is here this morning and that's my parents old place New York State property taxes pretty much drove them out of that place it's all paid for and the taxes got to be about seven hundred dollars a month they owned that place on the water right there too. It used to be an old hot dog stand. They had raised the roof. The guy that bought it from them totally redid it. Rebuilt exactly what was there. It was all brand new. 160 feet of pond frontage they had over there. And in New York State, you will pay for that. So a lot of people think of New York as one big city. I'm here to tell you there's a lot more places like this land mass wise than New York City and New York State. That's how quiet it is out here. Some nice camps. My parents were in real estate. We were in real estate with them for a while. They specialized in properties along this pond. They grew up on this pond. 
This is where everybody from Mineville, New York went swimming. Came down and spent their days or worked down here, played down here, boated, fished. Used to be one of the best kept secrets in the Adirondacks, Lincoln Pond. Not so much anymore, it's hard to get in here. So we took advantage of this site being open for two days during the week because you can never get in here on the weekend. So this is where we'll be next couple days. Then we move on about 10 miles away to Lake Champlain. I don't know if you can see this or not. Probably can't, too dark in there. Oh, you just probably still can't see it. Maybe if I get right up close. I'm trying to show you the happy signal on here when you're boondocking. This is the first time that I've uh, had solar working in this camper. So we've got 12 volt here. I should probably test that with my phone charger. Coming right off the solar controller. We have USBs here. I could test that with my phone charger. We have 2300 watt power inverter hooked up right here. And my phone's ringing. All right, I'm gonna test my power there. First time I've tested that. Looks like we have power. My phone is charging off in the solar controller. If you can see that. Take my word for it, definitely is. Okay, so let's try this. We'll try the uh, USBs. Yep, the USB is charging as well. Of course, the phone goes off as soon as I. Oh, it'll only zoom in so much. <laughs> Take my word for it, it's charging. Let's try the other one. They go in kind of hard. That one's charging too. Success. So I still have my uh, jumper cables um, hooked up, or my power inverter hooked up with jumper cables. And I'm just going to lay this in here for now because I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. Um, once I figure it out, then I will mount this thing more permanently. But uh, my main objective right now is to get my solar running. We've got 50 feet of cable to move it around the site. And we're making lots of juice today, which is a good thing. When you're out here, here in New York State Parks, boondocking in the middle of nowhere. Beautiful here this morning. Friday morning on Lincoln Pond. Sun just came up. Looked out the window and it was gorgeous outside. So got up and started taking some pictures. Look at the shimmering of the water on the side of the motorhome. Kind of cool. Are you digging a hole and you know you're not supposed to be? Is that why you're looking so guilty? He's a hole digger. Got some holes to fill up. Roxy dug that one. She's a hole digger too. Look at the beautiful white birch trees on this site. Look at this. We're already making solar power this morning. Just got the 100 watt panel hooked up. It'll be good enough for right now.
You ever think about humans, how much they want to be by water? How we're willing to pay a premium for a lot on the water, house on the water, hotel room on the water, campsite on the water. <laughs> Wonder why. We're moving on today, heading to a different state park. Going to be on Big Freshwater Lake, Lake Champlain. So it's kind of funny, maybe 10 years back, the state decided that they needed this big fence. Because the road is just on the other side. This is Lincoln Pond Road. So what used to happen, <laughs> there's a pull-off right here on the other side of this fence. And people wouldn't go through the gate. If they were staying with somebody, coming to visit somebody, they would just park out here and just walk into the park. So, New York State, they gotta get all the revenue they can. They decide to put all the money into a fence. Well, that's all well and good, but the end of the fence is a well-worn trail. They'd probably cut back on it a little bit. Our son-in-law came to visit last night. He didn't go through the gate. It wouldn't have even cost him anything because after like 4.30 in the afternoon, there's nobody in there. It was just easier. He didn't have to drive in. We're on the last spot, so. And there's the causeway. So about 6.30 this morning, this place is like a racetrack. Everybody trying to get to work on time. So they come out of Mineville, Witherby, Port Henry, Mariah area. And they're so used to this road. This is probably one of the most windy, hilly roads in the Adirondacks. And they'll race this road. Anytime that there's any kind of a straight turn, like even the short little straight spot right here, they're just probably going into these corners about 60 or so. These guys seem to be pretty tame. <laughs> Gotta get to work. Not me, not today. <laughs> it's Friday, TGIF. And we've got the day off. And Christina did some training for the census yesterday. We were both going to try to get jobs working for the census. She got called. <laughs> I kept calling them back when they called me. They'd never call me back. Typical federal government. By the time I got through to anybody, they said all the positions were filled. So she's going to be an enumerator for the census till October. Our county is the second largest county as far as land mass in the state of New York. And they're going to cover it with 10 people. And they have to verify all kinds of addresses, whether they're valid addresses or not. So we'll see how that goes. Never know. I still might get... Hired on. So I was in charge of breakfast this morning. So venison sausage and sauteed onions and eggs and toast. And I enjoy it. I invited my dad to come up, have a little breakfast with us this morning. Beautiful morning on the pond. Getting a lot of light off that lake shining in here. <laughs> this is why I'm going to miss this spot. Look at the view I've got. There's Dixie. Both her ears are up. Dixie! <laughs> It's going to be time to pull out of here, though. 
beautiful here today. Look at that breeze. Look at this, we're all packed up. The tubes in here. Always nice to be able to see boats from your windshield. Gonna be nice on Lake Champlain. But this place was booked so we couldn't stay longer. So what are you gonna do? Right Dix? There's my other little travel buddy. Turby, you ready to go? Ready to go for a ride? You ready to go? Well, go bye bye. Turbo, you sure you want to sit there? You're practically under my feet. <laughs> well, folks, it's time to pull out of Lincoln Pond. Christina's just uh, putting the nuts back on the ramp for the scooter. You can see the scooter back there. Let's hope the scooter stays back there. Why? What time is it? By the time we get there, it'll be should be good enough. Yeah, but people aren't supposed to leave till eleven. Yeah, it's Why are you recording? It's you five minutes to eleven. eleven. I know, so you get there and it's. Like, we'll be fine. Well, I was gonna say we can. You don't get a lot of motorhomes. These local state parks. They're just not really built for it. Look at there's a site that has been closed all season because they won't do the work that it takes to make it safe. Water site could be rented probably almost every day. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> little bathrooms in these places. Some old parks. Parks probably been here for 70 years. And there's the bathhouse, the changing room for the beach. The beach used to be a big thing here, but not so much anymore. Times are changing. Not necessarily for the good. Mike's still there. Christina's behind us. So here's the entrance of Lincoln Pond State Park between Elizabethtown and Mineville, New York. And now we're gonna go over the causeway and we have a big windy hill and I will have tons of cars behind me wanting to pass. Should be interesting. Look how pretty this is. There's that fence. There's where we were, right there in that first spot. It's now empty. And here's the causeway. Flew over this yesterday morning in the, with the drone. There's the island. Water's a little rough today. And we're gonna go right by my parents' old house. This is the place right here my parents built. And the property taxes pretty much drove them out of here. They own the place on this side of the water. I used to park my camper right there. And they built this house right here. And they own that place right there. So you can see it's a pretty busy place around here in the summertime. Big party spot. So long, Lincoln Pond. It's time to try to make this hill. Hey there, people in YouTube land. We hope that you are enjoying our videos. And if you are, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Thank you.